Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we're doing an epic universe update with lots of progress and lots of photos to show you. I cannot wait for this big update, so let's get right into it. Today, we're going to start off in Celestial Park, and we're going to look at the Star Four Racers Extended Queue. The Star Four Racers Extended Queue is just a whole bunch of mud right now. <laughs> Looks like it recently rained, but there are some pathways forging in the mud. It will be the Extended Queue in this beautiful, um landscaped area taking a look at starfall races itself it looks gorgeous and there's the landscape area in green and you can see the extended queue on the bf fully it looks like a fully outdoor extended queue and the station is in green right there it's a pretty big queue it holds up to a few hours worth of people which makes sense because it would be you know one of the first things you see in the main hub looking at the grand helios hotel it's almost done like Recent, more recent photos so the dome completely covered, but the dome is halfway covered in this photo and all the facade work is almost up. You can even see the green trims, on, uh, the green finishes on the, again, trims on the top and center of the hotel right over there. Looking at the Starfall Racers, oh, we can see the beautiful, uh, what will probably be like a, maybe an outdoor pool bar area. Looking nice, it almost reminds me of like something like Roman, like Caesar's Palace type of ordeal going on, but this will be very spacey, but the pool itself will really be looking pretty nice as well. And I like this distinct shape of the Looking at the backside of the Grand Helios Hotel, the facade work is not as complete as the front side, but it is getting wrapped up quite nicely and quickly, and it should be done just in time for opening next year. And Here's this better look of them installing those dome pieces. Obviously not the final look of the dome, but this is them covering up all the steel in preparation for that facade work to come on later. Taking in more views of Celestial Park, here's the fountain in the associated fountain show with this it's the seating around there. See all the fountain seems to be in, all the fountain nozzles seem to be installed, and that looks to be just about done, looking great as a nice centerpiece show for the park in the daytime and nighttime. Here is the Blue Dragon restaurant they showed in the video. It will be looking gorgeous and that there's the cascading waterfalls and rock work and uh, water over there. And there is, uh, it's almost done. All uh, the facade work is almost in there as well. And there's to the left of it is the Dark Universe portal and the Dark Universe little plaza section before you enter the portal. Here are more of those cascading fountains heading into the fountain show. And this is where some of the show's technological work will be happening, but this will be a beautiful photo moment as you head over the show because the Grand Helios Hotel will be right in the background. Right here is the foundations for a new building that is coming to the Celestial Park area. Not sure what this is going to be. Now this is the new building will be coming in. I don't know if it will be open with the park, but if not, this will be part of potential phase two for Celestial Park. Constellation Ferris, it looks absolutely fantastic. It's an arches over the water over there and taking a closer look into Constellation Carousel. You see these blue finishes on top over here of the carousel. Looking fantastic. And moving over onto the Atlantic restaurant. All the glass has been installed. It looks beautiful. Almost looks like a giant aquarium, which I think that is the purpose. And then, of course, the associated water features surrounding there have all been, uh, don't have water in them, but they all the definition has been installed with the concrete barriers there. And lastly, take a look at the entrance to the park with the crescent moon shaped plaza and the entrance and exit buildings as well as the associated guest services and other park related services all working up and wrapping up and seeming all fantastic. Heading over to the dark universe you can see there is a coaster train in this station for the curse of the werewolf um, roller coaster still Looking for the tents or tarps or covering for that um, oncoming break run, break run section. All the supports are ready to go, but they're still waiting for the cover on the coast. And there's the maintenance bay right there. And moving on over, you can see this wagon. This wagon was in the staging area not too long ago. Now it's been installed. It's a nice theming element. There used to be a potential cover for maybe a screen area, maybe showing wait times for the ride or some other informational um, stuff for Dark Universe as a whole. Burning Blade Tavern looks nice, just a lot of scaffolding on the windmill part, but other than that, it's all complete, which is fantastic. Cannot wait to see this light up in fire when it opens up next year. 
Here's the extended cube getting some land an extended cube for monsters on chain getting some landscaping. There's some beautiful trees and the actual cube itself is getting some nice landscaping. So that would be nice. People would really be nice and shaded um, in hot summers when they're waiting out for this amazing attraction. Here's the front of the Monsters Unchained attraction. You can see the gate is all finished. It looks very menacing and gothic and scary, but also very, very cool. The toppers have been installed on the main entrance arch as well. Here's a closer look into some of those spiked walls in the main entrance with those with these vines wrapping around the entrance itself to be painted. The vines are wrapping around the entrance and presumably exit to the attraction. So I can't wait till they're painted to match these goth dark colors that the rest of the attraction has going on in as well. Here's the Village of Darkmoor, just about all done, all the scaffolding just about is all gone from the rooftops, have things painted, it looks so great, and so, so glad for all to see the progress this has made over the past several updates, the last thing to do is just put in the pavement where the dirt is and then it'll be all done, it's a close look at what looks to be a little fountain area when you come to the Village of Darkmoor, and again these buildings look fantastic, remember one of these buildings would be a steakhouse which would be super super cool and here's one last view of dark moor and it's uh just beautiful looking architecture and i god i can't wait to just explore this village i could be here all day just exploring this village which would be pretty awesome and here's the dark universe portal they are working on the plate it looks fantastic and yeah it just looks uh, I just, this is one of my favorite lands most anticipated lands because it just looks absolutely absolutely amazing now we're heading over to the wizarding world of harry potter uh yeah, ministry of magic area and all the buildings have just about lost all their scaffolding there's some here and there but other than that it's pretty good there's some now they're working on the storefronts as you can see it's on the glass and names of the stores in the cities of paris as well here's the intersection of all the five streets and you can see all those blue the blue poles there they're thinking, what is that? That is actually going to be the circus tent. That'll be the entrance to the show. The circus show. That'll be the same show building attached to the same show building as the main e ticket attraction. There's some cool, you know, more theming on the buildings. Um, again, it's so cool. They're not just like these generic Parisian buildings, but they're realistic Parisian buildings, but also have some cool you know, art on them. France is all about art, so there's some art here, with some magical spells. And then over here on the main entrance, you can see this is to the right where the scaffolding is where the entrance to the attraction is going to be. See, they're working on more storefronts on the left side here and working on the pavement. It's fantastic land again, just to walk and explore and use there and have upgraded magical spells and wands. So, like version 3.0 of that technology they're implementing at the resort right now. So, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Fly on over to the Isle of Burke, you can see the Mead Hall wrapped up in scalping, one of the only things left wrapped up in scalping, but it's getting lots of lots of rock work, as you see to the right hand side, covered in beautiful moss, looks fantastic, but this will be the tallest point in the land, but you'll notice here in this update here, lots of theming elements have been installed in the Isle of Burke, and I can't wait to show you some of those right now. Right over here by the roller coaster, and the, this by the turn of the roller coaster, you have the bridge, of course, and you have the stat, the Viking statues. But you have the sheep, you have the little train right there. I don't know, if, I don't think that's a theming element, that's a like construction, but they're installing some theming on the hill where those sheep are in landscaping. Look how green and beautiful it looks as you go through that little turn there and into the second launch on the roller coaster. Over at Fire drill, the room is filled up and it looks ready to go. Testing has been occurring. There's even the flume is filled up into the maintenance bay as well. Lots of support so for more theming and more elements because we'll be shooting at these targets. And then you can see uh, there's plenty of pavement, uh, plenty of dirt up above for pavement to be filling. But yeah, this attraction looks fantastic. And I just rode the splash battle at Legoland, California. Now it's really, really fun. And I'm so glad that every universe is going to have an upgraded version of that technology. Looking at some more details of the Mead Hall, here's the rockwork specifically. Look at that beautiful rockwork and moss right there. And you can see um, uh, Hiccup's dad, I totally forget him, Stoic. I think he's yeah, Stoic in the um, rockwork there and the scaffolding as they make these statues. This will be the grand entrance to Mead Hall. You can see the door is behind some of these rockwork and the scaffolding down below. 
Looking at Spitfire Grill, you can see some theming has appeared on the roof with some trees and some um, 2D flats of the mountains, as well as another a dragon house here. And actually, rumor has it, not rumor, but the show in the concept art, a dragon will be uh, peering onto the side underneath that dragon house. That would be pretty cool. I believe this is one of these areas where the ice dragon may be, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, the moss looks fantastic, and the theming elements look fantastic, and I can't wait to show you all the other dragon houses that are appearing throughout the land currently. Here are some more shops and restaurants that are starting to form. This might be even where the meet and greet areas kind of looks like that from the concept art that you can be pick up when they associate the dragons. There's some rock work as the coaster speeds into that turn right over there. That's kind of this, like this kind of the center village area. This might also be where that big beautiful water fountain was. But yeah, this is a beautiful looking area. There's shops and restaurants. It'd be great to explore. I mean, I really feel like I'm in the Isle of Burke. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about. Look at this. So this is the Grand Stands. We have Draggers Race, Dragon Racers Rally of those two flat rides over there. And then a Hiccup, wing, Hiccup Wing Gliders Roller Coaster diving out of these Grand Stands. Now, when you're doing your race, there'll be some guests watching you. Yes, there'll be dragons peeking out of their dragon houses. There'll be more dragon houses than the ones installed here. And there'll be dragons peeking out, animatronic dragons peeking out. And you know, cheering you on as you guys race on your Draggers Racing Rally, Racers Rally, which would be super, super cool. And I would just see the kinetic energy of the roller coaster, the dragons, and the flat ride all going at the same time. That's going to be absolutely stunning. Here's an overview of the Hatchin Jay and Alleberg area, and just to show you how massive it is, it's about what, 14 acres. It can be really a family friendly area. I cannot wait to explore it. And just almost done just a couple of scaffold a couple areas of scaffolding left on meat hall and the portal and uh those restaurants there other than that we're all good to go we're at super nintendo world things are moving along quite nicely a lot of the area is now filled with concrete they're installing mini games and more and it's fantastic and the donkey kong is doing very nicely as well speaking of mini games at the number one is that kumba or the yeah kumba kuka crank I always forget the names of these, but it's the same thing we have in Hollywood where you, you crank the wheel and you try to get the Goomba, um, try to make it fall over. That is going on right there, and that's like a gift shop or another area over in Princess Peach's Castle is over. You can sell it over by number two and more. Checking on the entrance of the Super Nintendo World. Still can't get those warp pipes going on, but they'll be in different colors and they should be installed. I feel like at this point, we the last thing to be installed, but the rest of the portal is just about done. Um, looks beautiful as always. Uh, this is a nice proper Super Nintendo World portal. Remember, you'll be taking the escalators upstairs or elevator upstairs to get entry on the second level of the land. There's an overview of the entire land. You can see Mount Beam Post completely finished with all the elements installed, which is quite nice. Portaling over to Donkey Kong Country, you can see the big reveal here is the barrel has been installed on that first launch in Lift Tail. They even looked at the launch, everything is themed and even painted going over there, which is super cool on the Donkey Kong Minecart Madness Coaster. Over here, there's another shot of the Donkey Kong Minecart Madness Coaster uh, going along its first launch. You can see how well the real track is hidden beneath that tape track as a shootout with a barrel. Over here, onto the water portion. This is where you'll be going over, me over that pool of water, and the hut right there is where you'll be a meet and greet for all the Kong, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, and more. I love the themed rocks and the painted rock. They're all painted and it looks themed, nice and themed, as well as the the crates. I don't know what's in those crates that have been toppled over. Then that is going to do it for this week's Epic Universe update. Progress is moving quickly, and hey, it opens in. A year, a year from now, next month will be uh, the official announcement for the Super Nintendo World area and Donkey Kong area. Now that uh, Universal Studios Japan's Donkey Kong has been delayed a year, I'm going to go ahead and give details to Epic Universe's update, or Epic Universe's version of Donkey Kong next month. If you like this video, make sure to press that subscribe button and also, hey, click that like button as well. And also follow me on all my other socials, which will appear on the screen right now. And also check out my Patreon for more exclusive content as well as permanent information and more. That is patreon.com slash club72. And adios everybody. Have an epic day.